Tomorrow is the first Monday in May. That is the day usually marked by the Glitterati for the Metropolitan Museum of Art's Met Gala, an over-the-top celebrity-filled tribute to fashion. The gala has been postponed this year, and the Met, which just celebrated its 150th anniversary, sits closed and virtually empty. The museum's collection of priceless art kept company only by a special group of essential staff who are looking after the place. NBC's Ann Thompson takes us inside for our Sunday Closer. These days, New York's Metropolitan Museum of Art is a still life, hauntingly empty of more than 100,000 visitors a week, once awed by its cultural catalog of over a million and a half pieces of art. Art that survived war and desecration, natural and man-made disasters, thievery and plagues. And now, what is art's role during a pandemic? Well, I think in all times of crisis, the world really cares about reflecting on why we're here and what it means to live in a civilization. And art is at the center of, I think, what gives people a sense of meaning and purpose in life. Dan Weiss is the Met's CEO. Typically on the first Monday in May, this is where the beautiful people <laughs> walk up. <laughs> yes, and here we are. Have you ever seen the museum like this? No, this is an unprecedented experience. We closed for a few days after 9-11, and we've closed in snowstorms and blackouts, but not for this long before. Now shuttered for an eighth straight week. Because the doors are closed, does this mean the work has stopped here at the Met? No, the work continues. Overseeing that work, conservator Lisa Pelosi. When we think of essential workers, we think of firemen, policemen, doctors, nurses. Are there essential workers at the Met as well? Yes, that includes the essential security staff, the engineers, and there's a team of collections monitors. So have you been in the museum since it's been closed? Is it eerie? It is definitely eerie. You feel the weight of just wanting to make sure the collections are kept safe for the day we can reopen. About a third of U.S. museums may not reopen as a result of the crisis, says the American Alliance of Museums. But Weiss says the Met will survive despite layoffs and a projected loss of $150 million. Without the Metropolitan, New York would be a seriously diminished place. Imagine Paris without the Louvre, London without the British Museum. These cities become something very different and far less meaningful. In 100 years, could there be a sculpture of a face mask in the Met as an example of this time? Oh, I think there will be. That this, this period in our history will generate a tremendous amount of art, I have no doubt and the best of it will find its way into our museum. New portraits of tragedy and triumph in our catalog of culture. For Sunday Today, Ann Thompson, NBC News, New York.